Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe of Living Streams bringing you Matters of Faith with Graphic Online. Like I said, we have been looking through the gamut of Easter and looking at all the events of Easter. And for many people, Easter is an event that is celebratory. That's fine. I mean, you should celebrate Easter. Yeah, because it reminds us of the death, resurrection, and even the price that Jesus paid for our redemption. I was so grateful, so grateful. But Easter is also filled with life principles and principles that affect everyday life. And this, and this, um, uh, morning, I like to capture my thoughts with the words, rejection caught rise. Now, did you, did you see the, the, the trial of Jesus? And um, when he went there and then Jesus was asked there and then he was being tried in the house of, of, of Herod and all the things that were going on, Pontius Pilate. Do you remember there was an incident where a little girl came over to uh, Peter and said to Peter, Oh, I know you. You're one of them. I mean, and uh, three times Peter denied that he knew Jesus. I mean, that denial was, for me, a very, very powerful statement of rejection. Now, here's the principle. Now, I mean, Peter, you remember Jesus had told him, "You, the cock crew, no, the cock will not crow thrice," and you deny me. And then he said, "Never, nada, 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 no way, no way." But guess what? I mean, a little girl comes to. Um, to, to Peter and then says, oh, you're one of them. He says, I don't know the man. And the Bible says he swore. Now for a fisherman, I'm from the, I'm from La, you know, that has a couple of fishermen over there. And uh, for a fisherman to swear, that means, whoa, 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 probably proper Billingsgate language. But here's the interesting thing. Peter swore that he didn't know the man. And the Bible says Jesus turned painfully and then looked at Peter. And Peter was smitten in his heart and went somewhere and wept. Now here's the thing, at a very critical moment in Jesus' life, at a very, very critical moment, now he was in a courtroom and he was battling for his life. He was being tried, his life was on the line. I mean, it was either death or life. And somebody was called to be a character witness. And who was called? Peter. Peter was called to be a character witness. I know the man. It's not that I don't know him. I know the man. He is a good man. I know the man because he met me at the lakeside Genesaret and gave me a great drought of fish when I told all night and caught nothing. He healed my mother-in-law for my mother-in-law to even cook for him. He told me that he changed my name from Simon, that means Reed, to Peter, that means Petrus, Little Rock. Oh, he did so much for me. He sent me out. I went out with somebody. We're healing the sick. We're raising the dead. Uh, the dead. I know the man. I know the man. We're casting out demons. I know the man. And Peter said, I don't know him. Now that, he didn't know the man who healed his mother-in-law. He didn't know the man who gave him a great drought of fish. He didn't know the man who, I mean, uh, uh, who set a table with him. He didn't know the man that had uh, commissioned him, uh, them with, in two by two and they'd gone out healing the sick and casting out devils and all that. And the Bible says when they came back, Jesus said, I mean, I saw Satan fall like lightning. He didn't know the man. He went to the Mount of Transfiguration and said, Lord, it is good we are here. Let us build a tent, one for you, Elijah and Moses, and let's stay here. He didn't know the man. Of course he does. But you know one thing? Peter's fear made him reject Jesus at a very, very powerful time. And here's the point. Sometimes in life, you'll be very surprised when you are in dire streets, when things are happening that you have no handle of, and uh, there's uh, accusation everywhere, things are being leveled and thrown at you everywhere. Sometimes there are people that you depend on to be a character witness for you and to tell everybody that I know who you're talking about. He's not like that. I know the man. I know him. I know his heart. I've walked with him. And you'll be very surprised. Those people will reject you at the place where we say, caught rise. They won't stand up for you. And if you're not very, very careful, you'll be embittered with disappointment and you would you, you would walk away and say, my goodness. Yes, Jesus Christ turned sadly and looked at Peter. You don't know me. 
Today you don't know me. You know, and, and, and it's, it's, it's very sad. But that's the reality of life. Sometimes in your dark street, sometimes in a place where you are torn in between uh, Skyline and Chabdis, you go between the devil and the deep blue sea, you'll be very, very surprised that people who are supposed to stand up for you and say they know the man may fail you. Now you have a choice. Yes, be disappointed. Yes, you can be depressed. Yes, you can uh, be discouraged. Yes. But you know one thing? Jesus just turned and looked at him and then there are things that when they happen to you, you would, be, you, you, you would want people to stand up for you because they, they should know you better. And one way or the other, they won't do it. At the courtroom, sometimes, when you are battling for your life, your reputation, your character, and everything, is being assassinated. Your, your head is heading towards the gallows. Somebody you love, or somebody you've trusted, or somebody who's been with you will say, I don't know him. For fear of what people will do to them. And you know one thing? It's a choice. I can tell you this. It will happen. That's life. So get ready for it. If it does, you have a choice. Move on. Because there's something big about to happen for you. That courtroom was not the end of your life. That courtroom was not the end of your story. There's something bigger and better coming your way. So you know what? Ignore those people and move on towards destiny. There is light at the end of the tunnel. See you later.